I'm Musa Kawila and welcome to the Pope of Pop Culture. If you're on your phone, I hope you're taking pictures of your celebrities, your influencers and pictures of me, okay? Chomi, we are evaging up. Dumelang Likai, Kenna Musa Kawula, my friends call me Wendy Williams Light. You know what? A lot has happened over the past couple of days. Is it not Zamani cheating on Sneem Klongo? Oh my God. If you don't know the back end of this story, Zamani Mbata obviously is an actor, you know. Um, his sister is Nomza Mombata and whatnot, and Sneem Klongo is like a YouTuber and whatnot. But Zamani and Sneem, they've been together for six years, allegedly, bitch. And now Zamani was caught red-handed in bed with another bitch. <gasps> I am telling you, the way Sneem Klongo lost her mind, it was literally appalling. Let me get me a drink. Oh, my God. So this unknown YouTuber takes to Instagram, to her Instagram page, to reveal that, you know what, my man of six years is cheating on me. And I don't know what to do at this point, because obviously six years is a long time getting played and getting cheated on for six years, bitch. But anyway, Sneed decided to go to the Earth Cross and like, you know what, bitch, not in my name, because apparently, uh, obviously Sneed wanted to go public with a relationship a long time ago, and Zamani Fedel, this bullshit that you know what i am like a bachelor i am all of these things and whatever so that's a part of his brand so that's why he can't come forward with this relationship because it's gonna ruin his deals and whatnot meanwhile he just wanted to cheat in peace but anyway uh, we also seen another screenshot of somebody else, one of the people that live with Zamani in the complex, saying that Zamani is always like bringing different bitches in the house and whatnot. So poor Sni, apparently there's another bitch that also thought Bega was straight to Zamani and now Sni is like losing her mind and you know what, she's at the earth crust. But anyway, we also have like a small clip of when we seen that was taken uh, when Zamani and Sni, you know, after the whole thing, obviously they were going to meet and try to mitigate the situation. And we're seeing Sni leaning, you know, against the car, listening to Zamani feeding her all the bullshit, feeding her all the lies and the dirty dick bitch. It is just so terrible. But me and my friends are already thinking, obviously the way she was like paying attention on that clip, definitely Sni is going back to Zamani. And Zamani, obviously, we are one is like, we end up turning around La Piana and we're busy convincing this bitch. But you know what's the worst? worst thing the worst thing was or the worst thing is rather Zamani is not carrying flowers not even a chapis a chapis a chapis Zamani didn't bring nothing he just brought his lies and and whatnot but anyway we already know they're gonna get back together good luck to them and Snoop baby come to the show and then you know you and I so we, we got things to talk about but anyway one of the stories uh, that we had seen was Terry Petto's house Brainstein home being auctioned and whatnot Backhand to this story is, you know, Terry Petto is under investigation for embezzling or defrauding the National Lotto Commission and whatnot. And now they are out. They wanting their money back. Then the NLC decided that, you know what, they're going to auction the house in Branson so that they can recoup some of the funds. And the house was auctioned for three million rand and nobody wanted to buy that fucking house. But anyway. When you look at the house, it's on my Instagram at Kaula Musa. The house is literally just a basic house. It's not giving like, you know what, fraud money. It doesn't have the drama. It's just a basic ass house. And now they took it. And I remember that Terry Peto, obviously, she said, obviously, she went and denied the claims. like how everybody always does, and then they write the, that shitty statement, knowing very well that, you know what, they embezzled the funds. And the worst part is, Chomiyaku Kerel Bauer didn't come out to help her, you know, to probably try and stop the whole auctioning and whatnot. Everything is just public, and Terry Petto's image, obviously, is literally in the gutters. But the worst thing is, Terry Petto can't even act for shit. I don't even know how she had begged all that gigs at the Tzotzi and then remember she had that small stint at the 
what's this at the bold and the beautiful and i don't remember literally her getting another job or booking another job rather but then she turned into obviously embezzling funds and whatnot and some of our friends obviously they went and found tweets where she was joking or was she even joking saying that you know what if i win the lottery i'm going to disappear if you guys see me disappeared just know that i've won the lottery and one of those tweets dates back to like 2020 some to 2021 where she's making a joke that she wants pasta mboro to like give a lottery numbers and not be while she knew what she was cooking because the lottery man was already with her oh my god this is so terrible so terrible and literally so embarrassing and disgusting if we have to say obviously our friend tuson bedu is living her best life in the america beach uh we had seen her just the other day she was at prada fashion week and now we've seen her at the Dior fashion week and whatnot. I like the Dior look, I like the hair and whatnot, but I just feel like at the Prada, they did it dirty. The dress wasn't making sense. It was just a basic dress, you know, skank chisaka quiet dress. It was just so terrible. And the hair, Ayanze Lento Legends Baba with a dye all over her head and whatnot. But then she decided to show up bitch for the Dior, the hair is nice. You know, I'm loving the outfit. It was giving me drama. It was giving me fashion. It was giving me, this is my time. I am here. My style is finally got and understood what needs to be done, bitch. But anyway, moving right along, uh, Kosizana daughter, obviously, she took to her Instagram as well to reveal that she's released a new single, Ring, Ring, Ring. I know I won't be listening, but maybe, you know, maybe y'all will be listening, but me and my friends don't give a shit about this song. But all I know is, you know what, what that Cedril did to her is fucking unforgivable, bitch. You know, uh, Cedril left her, you know, like five months after she gave birth to their daughter. And you would know that obviously this was in Cedril's first child. This is Cedril's fourth child, actually, because she's had, you know, the three babies with the three baby mamas and shit that he left. And then he comes back online to cry, mental health, mental issues, because about my parents, I don't want to work with he and all of that stuff. But then now he's done it again and left, of course, as an adult with his baby ass and because as an adult, it's so quiet. She won't even, you know, come online and cause drama and complain but then i'm sure you're gonna want to go support the song and stream and whatever because now she has a new baby you know to feed so you'll go listen to that shit i won't be listening And Kefile Mabuto obviously she revealed that apparently she's been like a realtor for a hot second but me and my friends we wasn't aware of this and she's selling the houses in like Cape Town, you know, in the upper echelon places, bitch, the houses go for like eight to five million and whatnot. But then me and my friends, because we like to talk and then we were saying, obviously that's how she meets all these rich as daddies that take her all over the world and whatnot. But now she also took, you know, when she had that promo wedding and whatnot, it's still not very clear whether she actually got married and whatnot. But in my head, the whole thing, you wishy wishy. Congratulations to her on this realtor job. It is what it is. We don't care. And, and yeah, me, I got things to do. I'll catch you on the flip side, bitch. Bye.